Hooray, we're in the desert company. Company. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. This is Siwap the Platinum One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. So last time, we explored around Skyscraper Scamper in Empire City at night, and we found nothing. According to Gaia, for Gaia clues, unfortunately. So, today, we're going to go around Shamar to explore whatever there needs to be explored, and to see whatever there is to see. So, uh, I believe at this point in time, uh, I do think you can choose either order on which to go to, uh, uh, the states that we're about to go to, uh, Eric Sands, by the way. Um, we can choose literally what order we can go to. Actually, can we? No, we can't, actually. Wow. Okay. So, for the very first time, we get to explore whatever else we can explore, but only if it's in the daytime. <laughs> But of course, with this being an entrance stage, we might as well explore it first. And I feel I'm more comfortable with uh, the Werehog in, uh, in uh, entrance stages. Why not? Might as well, might as well do this first. Because I want to listen at saxophone, man. I really do. But anyway, we got a crystal ball. Ooh, ooh, so spooky. Yeah, what a letdown it is. <laughs> What a light down. It's just a crystal ball that will allow you to tell the future. Right? Am I right? Know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. We all know what you mean. But, regardless of which, uh, here's where the daytime stage would be. So, I don't want to go there yet because, of course, we still have an entrance stage to explore. Obviously. And by pressing this, or by holding the. <laughs> Doing whatever you need to do here, you can open up this, and it will take you over to a sun metal that you can get. Awesome. And we got Guiding Pulse as a videotape. Ooh. I believe that's the cutscene where we see all these, uh, all those dark eye creatures being pulled in by Eggman, I think. So, yeah. I should probably mention at this point, like, like, uh, I think the plot takes sort of a back seat at this point in time. It's all about the gameplay, of course. Really, the only scenes that we're going to be seeing from, uh, for a little while is just, uh, it's just, you know, Sonic and Chip restoring the power, power of the Chaos Emeralds to the temple or whatever. Or us restoring the planet or something. Yeah. That's pretty much the only sensible sense of, ooh, what's this? Ooh. We got a record called the results screen. Uh, I should probably take this time to mention about the results screen, by the way. Uh, something interesting happens if you get the lowest rank on, on, uh, the results screen, which is rank E, I believe. On rank E, you get an entirely different, uh, thing to, uh, the, uh, thing. <laughs> to the thing. To the results screen. And it sounds hilarious. Yeah, hilarious, it does. But anyway, I think we explored around here enough at night, unless there is a thing I'm missing? No, I don't think so. Thank you for reminding me of that, so let's go ahead and switch it over to daytime. Alright, now it's about the time we do this thing proper with Sanic. Yes, with Sanic. So, in the daytime, of course, it looks like an actual desert, of course. And I'm gonna have to really friggin' figure out how to do this thing with Sanic. Sanic. Keep on saying Sanic. I don't know why, but I do. It's fun for me. But whatever. You can air boost right there. And, of course, there is a stage that we can't get into yet. And, uh, thanks for showing me that again, by the way. It really helps out. I know where it is. Game? I know where it is. It's actually right here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, very late into the game, we finally get the ability to light dash. Yeah, I know. One of Sonic's trademark abilities is now available to us, finally. Yeah, I know. It's, it's really weird that they uh, just put the light speed dash here of all places. Or, or at this point in the game, of all places to put into the game. Really. I don't know how that is, or why that is, but okay. 
We'll take it. It's better late than never, I suppose. Uh, great. I can't. I can't go back there. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to go around here in order to. No, not like that. Not like that, you silly. Not like that, silly. Not like that. You gotta destroy this thing properly, like a Sonic do. But anyway, uh, I think we explored around here enough, so why don't we just go ahead and do this? Uh, so by pressing the Y button, when you see a trail of rings, Sonic will glide along these uh, trail of rings. So that is a pretty useful ability. So now we're gonna get into the stages of Shamar. Shamar Act One Day, or Eric Sands Day, whatever. Okay, this beginning section sucks. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, quite frankly, it sucks. Because, well, look at it this way. You have all these things coming at you from all sorts of different things if you choose to take the bottom path, by the way. Uh, and, ah, yep, those Eggman Springs, man. Those Eggman Springs. Uh, yeah, they decided to plop you into a town section, quite frankly at the beginning, and they'll make it sound like you're blasting through the actual city of Shamar. When in fact, it's not cool at all. It's not cool. And they have all these people, of course. Yeah, of course they have all these people. And of course, they of course will get in your way, of course. I keep saying of course, I should stop. Well, like, not like you expect. My speaking patterns are interesting to say the least, you know? But anyway, yeah, that beginning section sucks because, well, you have all those things at you. And of course, you don't know what to expect from here the first time playing through. So you're kind of expected to jump, of course, and yeah. So kind of sort of for that reason, this is one stage that most people probably don't want to replay ever again, quite honestly. <laughs> no, 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 that's not the right way. That's not the right way. X is the right way. The X button is always omnipotent. Just like the B button. Right. So, quite frankly, for that reason, uh, and probably some other reasons, that, that uh, this level is not really the best uh, daytime stage in the world. Of course, we're going to be pinpointing to my favorite daytime stage later on. My actual favorite one. Because I listed so many reasons why Dragon Road Day is my favorite. I don't know why I was thinking there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. Also, this track's pretty sweet. In fact, the main composer of this, uh... The main composer of this, uh, game, uh, Tomoya, Tomoya Otani, you probably might recognize from his work on Sonic Lost World. Yeah, same guy. Same guy. Yeah, pretty much the same guy. So... Yeah, that's why you're getting a lot of, you know, Desert Ruin sounding vibes from, uh, from this track. And this is actually one track I actually showed to my dad when I was, when I was playing this game. He was like, oh, cool, it's Sonic. And, and I was like, like, I was like, listen to the music. And I was all like, rule number one of Sonic games, they always have to have good songs. No matter what the quality of the game. Which is why I haven't played Sonic Colors. Or, no, not Sonic uh, I played Colors. Or Chronicles, I don't know. I still really need that game. But, I refuse to get it on the emulator, by the way, because... Oh, wait, this section. Yeah, this section. Before I get back to that. This section. This section's got me killed. Plenty of time. Because, well... There's rails all over the things. Thank God you don't have to balance on them. You can just boost and win. And, of course, this section is probably not in my favorable uh, sections in this game, really. It's kind of it's kind of lame. It's kind of lame, you know? It's just lame. Uh, come on. Come on. Sonic. Okay, fine. I'll go the other way. Because there are multiple ways, damn it. There are multiple ways to do things. Uh, that's not going to be... I'm going to go into the spikes. So, and, yeah. Well, at least I can still homing attack there, so that's cool. Okay, I need to boost right now, and I actually missed a path. Dang it. At least I didn't miss that path. Yeah, this is where the, where, this is where it kind of starts to get platforming. Yeah, platforming. You have all these pillars, of course, 
and you can jump on them and all that other cool stuff that you can do on them. Which is probably the reason why I'm not getting as much rings as I thought that I was going to get throughout this entire experience. Probably not. Oh, right. This section. This section has gotten me killed plenty of time. Because basically you're going to have to boost. So follow the rings. And if you don't make it to one of the springs, you that's an automatic fail. Yeah. Thank God they put a checkpoint here, right? Am I right? But whatever. Uh, the guy keys right there. All right, good. All right, not too bad. I was expecting to do worse, <laughs> and I only got one medal, or at least it was a sun medal. So there's nothing to upgrade, so we might as well go back. And uh, yeah, this is kind of sort of the point where uh, some medals start to become scarce, and you probably want to get more of those. Yeah. So unfortunately, this is the point in the game where you really need sun medals as much as you can. Because, why not? <laughs> so it's for that reason, actually, let me go back to the thing because I really need to. I really need to talk to the professor dude to see if he has any new important information. I sound like a stupid guy. Hey buddy, how you doing? Sonic, my boy, I made another breakthrough. The manuscript suggests a temple lies in the Adabat area. Do you know the way? The world map should indicate its location. Very well, my friends. Let's put another Chaos Emerald in its temple. Ah, and one other thing. Sonic, you should be able to reach new areas within Shamar and Empire City. I realize you have much to do, but investigate the areas, would you? Yay! My favorite daytime stage is finally open, yes! Alright, here we are at the Empire City's entrance stage. So, now with this, with that available to us, now we're actually going to get into the really good stage. And you know what? This contains my favorite, this stage contains my favorite track in the entire game. Yeah, my favorite track in the entire game. Can you believe it? I can believe it. Skyscraper Scamper Day Act 1. Get ready to hear some awesome saxophone and trumpet goodness. Here we go! Yeah, I'm not boosting. <laughs> yeah, this 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 stage right here is my absolute favorite because, well, not only because it, it has a lot of neat alternate paths for you to take and really cool level design, plus there's the fact that I'm actually good at this stage. Just the song, man, the song. It's so good. The music is just too real. <laughs> the hype for this song is too real for me, I'm not going to lie. It Well... It's mainly due to the fact that this is, once again, this is an exclusive stage to the HD version of Sonic Unleashed. And yes, this is a very, very good stage, and I really do wish it was in the uh, Wii version of Sonic Unleashed. Really, but really, how can, but really, but really, this is this is just a really cool stage altogether, and a really cool continent altogether. Just the amount of Americanness in it all—it's just too good. Also, this part of the song. I like this part of the song. <laughs> like, if there was ever any song that's that ranks in my top five Sonic Unleashed songs, this is top. No questions. Yes, it's even better than the final boss theme. Well, in my personal opinion. Yes, I know. The final boss... Would you believe it? A final boss theme actually good? <laughs> but whatever the case. And I thought I was going to press Y there. <laughs> I thought I suddenly misclicked. But anyway, uh, you remember that robot from Dragon Road? Yep, we got another one of these. So, yes, you're going to have to outspeed this thing. Plus, there are more bombs than ever before on this stage, or on this part of this thing, where we're going on the uh, Empire City Bridge? 
Wouldn't you call it the Brooklyn Bridge? Because this is seriously... What? <laughs> okay, okay, that happened apparently. <laughs> okay, sometimes that happens to me and I don't know how that is, but apparently okay. I'll take it. I'll take that happening. So anyway, now we got another egg chaser section here where you have to destroy the robots in order to destroy the egg chasers. And of course, yeah, that happens. But regardless of which, uh, for this last part, you're on rails. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because I'm actually good at this. What do I thought? A Sonic Unleashed stage where you're actually good at it? Yes, I am. Alright, so what's the No. That's not it. There it is. Okay, X. Good. Alright, sorry. I had to concentrate there because I really needed to do that. So, if you take this path right here, not only do you get yourself a free Sun Medal... But you also get yourself a free little shortcut all the way over to the end of the level already. Like, this stage is so fun. Like, look, just take a look at the neat alternate paths that you can take. Just re try to replay this stage many times. And you'll see there's a lot of neat ultimate pa ultimate, alternate paths for you to take. So there you go. That's the whole of this stage. A lot of neat alternate paths and a really kick-ass song to boot. So, yeah, it's all sort of fun, the stages. But now with all that done, we explored the entrance stage of Shamar. We did Eric Sands Day, Act 1, Day. And we also did my favorite stage in the game. Or at least my favorite daytime stage in the game. So now we're going to call it quits here because if you look at that, we need level 6 moon medals to get here. You know what that means. Yep. More of the same stuff you saw in the last video. Yay. Next time on Let's Play Sonic Unleashed, we're going to explore Eric Sands Night in hopes of finding the other Gaia key that we need in order to get into the Shamar Temple. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye. The saxophone is so good. <laughs>